All right, it's real early, and I went crabbing yesterday. You know, I caught some pretty decent volume. Today, what I'm after, I'm going to a totally different spot. Today, what I'm after is a nice mix of volume and quality. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a different river, even though I did good yesterday, and, you know, it's a bit of a hike for me. So I'm going to stick a little bit closer to home here and um, see if I can't find a nice mix between volume and quality to, um, you know, just make life a lot easier on me you know just to have that nice mix as opposed to a whole bunch of whatever the heck i can find like you know it's totally different over on the western shore as far as crab quality is concerned over here certain areas it's just better so i'm gonna go ahead and uh go try to find you know the mix i'm looking for um you know the bait's two two days old so you know i ran it yesterday so you know uh, actually the the older bait won't catch as good a crab as a fresher bait so it's gonna be a challenge all right so here is all of my gear in the boat it's over five thousand foot of line i've got all these uh jugs going on here and some people are like how come you don't just run one long line and i'll tell you why i don't just run one long line for one thing i can't surgically find crabs with one long line Another thing, I, you know, if there's people there or something, you know, if there's any kind of an issue, if I'm just running one long line, then my probability of being able to lay on crabs is just lower. Yeah, it's easier and this, that, and a third, but, I mean, you can't really surgically crab like that. It's just kind of like a lazy guessing game, laying one real long line, you know. I mean, you're going to have a higher probability of catching crabs, especially in new areas you don't know if you have, you know, a whole bunch of different lines just like yesterday you know my two short lines they were the first two i laid and they were the ones i had the most optimism about and the two short ones literally caught two freaking keepers and the whole rest three baskets were all on my two long lines so that's why i don't just run one long line you know? and when people run just one real long line you know they'll put it in different barrels and stuff like that but you know i use i run clams you know so i have to get my stuff from this boat into the walk-in and it's i gotta be more mobile especially with a smaller rig like this you know i mean i just if i was if i really knew exactly where the freaking crabs were like and for somehow i knew there weren't going to be anybody in my area and i wouldn't have to come up with a plan b and you know i had a larger boat and you know i could run bullet it'd be it'd be great to run one long line but like in today's crabbing world like if you're gonna make money doing this like you almost you're not gonna get in the black doing it like that in my opinion some people might i'm sure some people do and this out and third but i just i don't really see how it's possible it's too much competition out there and too many people just go crab commercially crabbing for freaking fun now you know they're like retired or whatever and that's who you're in competition with if you're trying to make a living doing this and they don't give a crap if they stay in the red their whole lives which most of them do and will so how are you gonna compete with that? Just running one, it just, you gotta have every advantage if you're gonna make money out there doing this. All right, I'm underway now. Heading to where I think there might be crabs. I don't freaking know. We'll see here in uh, fairly directly. We'll see if there's crabs here. I think there's gonna be a couple. Wish my bait was nice and fresh. I wish I was starving the crabs and, you know, have my fresh crab starving bait set up going on, but. I got two day old bait, so whatever, we'll see what happens. All right, this place is just packed. I'm freaking, I hate this. I hate it. I had to drive around forever. Just trying to figure out how to get a freaking line in the water. I avoid this at all costs, but, you know, crabbing around people. I'll crab where ain't no crabs. <laughs> like, I don't care. I hate it. But check this guy out. Goose friend over there. All right, I finally got all my line in the water. Like, if you're not extremely experienced and you know where I'm crabbing, do not crab here, because you will lay over somebody. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, I hate it. But, I'm, you know, I'm laid out and everything. I don't crab here just because it's too freaking crazy. Like, you know, I'll figure out where the crabs are somewhere else where it's not so crazy, generally, you know. But, yeah, I finally got all my line out. It is, um, freaking seven o'clock i mean it took me better part of 
an hour and a half just to figure out what the heck was going on and you know legally get my line in the water where I wasn't encroaching on other people I mean everybody's kind of encroaching on everybody in here to some extent I don't like to do that I don't like when people do it to me especially when there's plenty of open water but it's just it's a little bit different here and now you know it's just it's just a different atmosphere, you know, than what I'm used to. I'm just, I'm not used to all this crowding. A lot of people are, a lot of people crab like that right next to each other. I'm doing it for years and no problem. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run all these first and then see what's going on and then I'll start filming. I mean, judging by the amount of boats in here and I'm, you know, I'm seeing some guys are running eel and bull lip and chicken and I, sh I should catch something, you know, even though the bait's two days old and stuff, I'm still thinking I'm gonna catch something. You know, I tried to lay in, you know, different depths and stuff. I kind of have an idea what should be going on in this river, but we'll see. All right, so first round, as in all my lines, they're all doing real similar. It's not like yesterday. Pushing half a basket, maybe one, eh, maybe a third of a basket all together. Everything's pretty much keepers, and the quality is just so much freaking better so i'm gonna go ahead and um film i'm gonna go ahead and call these out and then show my differentials because i'm gonna go ahead and i'm calling them now so i'll show the differences because there's a couple silks you know i'm calling ones and twos and stuff so so first round after calling everything out got a solid eighth of a basket of good number ones they're all nice and hard got one call crab which is white got two silks two females and four number twos so i'm gonna go ahead and film this next run I've got this end really shallow just because I wanted to catch that edge as it dropped. I didn't want to miss it. That's why it's so tight. All right, here's the edge. It starts dropping off from horseshoe crab <laughs> and then a real crab. He dropped off on me. Good one. I did catch one call, which is, you know, white. But, I mean, even between yesterday and today, make a big difference. And I'm hardening up. Nice one. <clears throat> Pretty crab.
another nice one you can tell if they're nice also when you dip them how hard they hold that bait another nice one nice one nice one Love seeing that black on them. I need to get me a bigger boat and start doing this full time. Nah, I like making you all zipper bait bags and the systems. It is nice to be able to come out and make a couple bucks doing this. This is my day off. <laughs> like, like my, <laughs> which it, and it's work, you know. Wow. I mean, these freaking crabs are so nice. So much harder than what I was doing yesterday. So much bigger. I mean, it just... It's six one half a dozen the other. Mm. Pretty crabs. Much better this run. There's a small one. Not seeing too many of them. Not too many smalls. He might make it. Crabbing around other commercial crabbers be like. Is he catching more than me? I wonder if the crabs are better over there. I wonder if he's got more crabs on there than I do. All right, shoot, finally. Been at this for freaking two hours. It's nine now, a little bit after nine. I was all laid out and started running at like seven. Those are my whites, got a couple. Those are my sooks. Those are my twos. And here's my basket of good ones they're pretty crabs too especially freaking crabbing way down south this year and over on the western shore like seeing these is just like a sight for sore eyes they're freaking beautiful let me get a better shot with the sun on them <clears throat> Pretty crabs. All right, it's like, you know, 9.30 or something. And it had slacked off. The freaking um, tide's going out. I'm in the middle of the outgoing tide. It seems like I'm kind of hitting them all over the place. I'd say, I'd say 10, 10 foot. Probably the, you know, what you want to aim for. And like I was saying, all right, the freaking tide's going out and I'm in the middle of the outgoing tide but we got a southwest wind which is slowing down the freaking tide going out so it's not moving quite right you know it's not going out quite as fast as it should be you know it'd be real nice if uh, the tide was 12 hours different and it was a incoming tide with that southwest wind and it was pushing it in nice and fast. That'd be freaking perfect. I'd love that. I mean, I'd be catching more crabs on it. About 100% positive of it. But that's not the case, you know? It's fishing. <laughs> you know? Just gotta go and see what the heck happens. But then again, sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll catch it 
exactly how I'm talking about now, and it's better than if it was 12 hours different. So, you know, you figure these freaking things out. You, you let me know all about it. <laughs> but anyway, it picked up a little bit. The, tie, or the wind laid off a little bit, and it seemed like it picked up a little bit. The tide looked like it was moving a little bit better, the current around my buoys. Maybe the wind just switched directions a teeny bit. I, I don't think that. But it picked up a little bit. So I was thinking I might just get this basket and get the head out of here. You know, I'm going to go ahead and start working on my second basket of good ones. See what happens here. And yeah, I just uh, totally did not go in the direction I was supposed to be going there. Because I was talking to you all. Thanks. See all the hardship I got to go through to entertain you people? I'll tell you. All right, gonna keep knocking at them. I don't know, get a few more pounds of good ones, be nice. All right, so I'm filming this all one-handed while I'm trying to run this line, but soft crab right there. And I just missed a freaking crab filming for y'all. Oh, this crap. All right. This is hard with one hand. But anyway, I got a soft crab on that big old freaking crab right there oh i'm gonna miss yep missed him because i'm messing with y'all <laughs> all right it looks like it picked up a little bit nice little soft crab pretty cool monster soft crab i got it out of the call basket before it got tore up but yeah i'm probably i don't know i'll probably throw it back even though i got some wet towels i could like keep it nice in and stuff i just probably take it ashore and throw it back so have you know babies and stuff yeah just yanking this uh one of these short lines in i just ran it and wasn't nothing on it it's been my worst one of the day so you know no stress at all yanking lines in yanking in this other short line now i just ran it I mean, it caught four or five good crabs, but I got so much freaking crap to do. Like, besides crabs, it's not even freaking fun. Yeah. You know, I just don't have time. You know, I gotta get these crabs sold and get on other work. But we'll see what I end up with. I'm gonna, I might mess around with those other lines. I mean, if they're doing phenomenal, I'll keep running them. But we'll see what I end up with here. All right, I got all my gear in the boat and ended up with one and uh, about a quarter basket of good ones. A few whites under these sucks. A couple sucks, a couple twos. So, I mean, all in all, quite close to a basket and a half. I guess not too horrible for being the last one to get out here and being the first one to leave <laughs> and and getting like the only spot left on the whole river to even put a trout line the only reason i could do it is because like i said at the beginning of the video you know the shorter lines is advantageous in that in that aspect i mean it, you know you lose a lot of the uh advantage some spots but you can get kind of surgical with it. I mean, it really helped me out here today. I'd have been real screwed up if I just had like one long line. It's a good thing. You know, I wouldn't have been able to, there wouldn't have been nowhere to put it. Like, there wouldn't have been nowhere. It was just it's ridiculous. So, and two day old clams, bush on a half all together. Not too bad. Half of what yet half of what I did yesterday. But the crabs here are just so much freaking better. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. Like I forgot what like good crabs look like because you know, this is only my first, second, third, first, second, third. This is my fifth trip this year. And my first four trips were all like where there's not that great a crab. You know? <laughs> like, so but anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.